Hey Basement Collective, welcome to the Basement Collective video. Now a popular request we have is just to take an overview of what the Basement Collective actually is. And I do apologize if you see the cord, the camera was unfortunately not charged. There's only one battery here with this camera and we have to keep it plugged in for the video. But today what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick survey of the basement. It's, we cleaned it up today so why not take a quick picture. Now I'm not going to focus too long on individual armies just because there's going to be eventually individual showcases for other armies. But let's just go through our shelves and show you what we got. First of all, we have the display shelf. Now, actually, this is where my brother Space Wolf Titan sits. My Grey Knight Titan sits. We have a couple individual models. We have a Blood Angel army from an older Blood Angel model. Now, the reason why he's on the display shelf is he's actually a model that no longer exists. He is a sanguinary piece, priest in Terminator armor so he no longer exists he was painted really decently so I figured why not keep him on my display shelf instead of trading a model that didn't exist away next we have my flying hive tyrant this was converted by blue table painting when I had my tyrant army I was okay with it I think I paid a bit too much for the conversion and what I got done but we could talk about that when he's displayed we have Ferris Manus. Now, I did have an Iron Hands army, but some of you know I traded that for my Blood Angel army. But this guy was painted so well, I could have just get rid of him. There he is. We have my Warhound, the Grey Knight one. So my brother is uh, Blue Warhound Titan. We have who we call Dirty Mike, Chaos Defiler. We'll do his story one day, but that's just Dirty Mike. We have most of my Crick's army. We did have a Warhammer watch I got as a gift. Uh, three pack of Chaos Marines I got as a gift. Now, I'm not going to open it just because... I think it's better to sit in display more than it is to open it. Um, next we have my brother's Necron army. So very quick pan over. He has I think what the whole codex is. So all down there. Necrons, Necrons, Necrons. And up here we have his arsenal. Okay. And down there we have bits and random stuff. More pockets, templates and whatnot. Moving on to actually this is where we keep our gaming mat. The desert gaming mat you see in some things. We're going to be getting more frontline mats. Now we have urban space holes. We have two flyers. He has two out on commission. Everyone has some stuff out of commission right now. He has all his HQs right there. Terminators. These were actually models that were custom uh, when Mark of the Wolfen was around in the last edition. These are the models he used that has Cromlech pieces on it, heads and backpacks and arms. So he has some of those. And in the old edition, each model, each unit could have a, uh, st a champion or a standard. So he would make these and you could pop the banner and you'd get something extra in close combat. So they're of course magnetized. Do this with one hand here. Oh, got to get it back on now. So these were those, and they have all the magnets. He has his missile launchers, his, his um, I guess these are Devastators row, and then he has his normal guys, plasma melters and bolters and so on. He has his uh, fantasy Nagesh up here, the clown Nagesh, for his, for his Tomb King slash vampire accounts. All his books, his templates, and all that. Moving on this shelf, he has Thunderwolf. He actually has four Thunder, more Thunderwolf coming in from commission. Logan Grimnar, Fenrisian Wolves, we have Dreadnoughts, the, uh, he has uh, a couple more out on commission. Swift Claws, Land Speeders, he has one more of those on commission. Rhinos, that can be rated to Rhinos or Razorbacks, they're all not there. He actually has a tops of these, they're just not glued depending if he wants to take the bolt or not. So Wolf Scouts at the back there. Predators, some of them need repair, the guns have fell off and whatnot. His Aegis Defense Line in the back. Vindicators drop pods. Now he has more space holes out. I'm not exactly sure what he has out. Hey, that's where that lid went. Good thing I was looking for that. But anyways, here is my buddy Ricky's Dark Elder Army. Now some of the uh, shelves aren't organized. I do apologize. Find the but the, the, this is his Dark Elder Army. He has um, Way Serpent. He, was, he has um, some more Elder will get painted up. But yeah, I don't know too much about Dark Elder. This, I actually owned this army for a bit from an old guy who quit Warhammer from the collective. And I sold it to him. But here it is. All painted up. Venoms, Ravager, Raiders, Warriors. Let's get a close up on some of these models. This, as you saw with Chris, the battle port, this whole army is painted by Chris, and this is just an example of what Chris could do. Nice wet blending on that model. Very nice looking model right there. I believe that's called a Slith. These guys, I know I played him once, so this guy was pretty good at Medusae. 
But anyways, down there we actually have Irvin's Necron bit box. The whole obelisk that was broken too badly to use. And then farther on that bottom shelf is my whole Ricky, the guy who owns a dark Eldar. That's his Eldar shelf down there. Like we have, if I can get him out without breaking him, although I think he's broken yet. But here we have our Wraith Knight painted up by Chris once again. That is the Eldar. Next we have our Furnace. Of course that's there. All our random books. We got my Ogre King book, Tau Codex, Apocalypse. All the old edition books, some Necron Codex, some old school codexes, and so on. We actually got the shelf from my local gaming store for 10 bucks. He didn't need it anymore. I figured, why not add it? It's awesome. <coughs> Next, we have the majority of my stuff. Now, this is my shelf. So we have the Knight Lancer, Forgeal Knight Lancer. Love him right there. The Mage Knight, I've already did a uh, showcase on this, but that's what he looks like real quickly. My dice custom templates. Now, we're going to be doing a giveaway with these eventually, but this is the Basement Collective. I'm not sure if you can see that. Basement Collective. That's your uh, Apocalyptic Blast. Not the Apocalyptic Mega Blast. We also have the 7 inch Blast Mark and the Massive Blast and all that in there, all custom. My books, of course. Um, we do have the limited edition, not the limited, I guess. I guess it could be called limited, but the small edition. Uh, Imperial Knight Codex. I got that when they cracked out the packages that didn't sell. Next we have my Grey Knights. Uh, I have some more Terminators coming in and one Dread Knight on a commission. But this is most of them. I actually have a whole Grey Knight army coming in but I'll be selling most of it off. Just taking what I want. But we have my two Storm Ravens, my Razorback slash Rhinos at back. Dread Knight, Dread Knight, Dread Knight. Uh, my Contempted Dreadnought, painted by Chris once again, near non-metallic metal, very beautiful model. Random Terminators, this is painted by another painter I have, whose name is also Chris, but not the Chris from the Basement Collective. My HQs, Power Armor Dudes, and Power Armor Dudes. Like I said, we're not going to get too close of a look at each army, but just enough, you know, so you guys can see. Next, we have my White Scar Army, we got all these bikes. Uh, two Predators, one of them can be converted to a Rhino, they both can be converted to Last Cannon and the Triple Last Cannon. Storm Talon, we have two Landspeeder Tempest, one normal Landspeeder, 10 Marines, Command Squad, that's a Librarian, a uh, Khan, Chapter Master, Chaplain, Command Squad back there. I have uh, actually about another 1500 points coming in for my Painter right now, I have more White Scars, so I'm looking forward to that. We have my Inquisition with one of my buddies, Tao Jones, he forgot here. Here's my convert, here's my painted, uh, commission painted Den of Imagination, Cotiez. Uh, we'll do a, a proper spotlight on him sometime. But anyways, this is the Chimera I actually painted. I'm quite happy of it. It's my first model I ever painted. We're looking, I'm working on a Rhino right now. That's another Rhino that I didn't paint. Servitors, Plasma guns. We got House Delicue models. I love these for our Warrior Acolytes. Awesome models from the Necromanda range. Old school. Chris painted those up real quickly for me. Beautiful models. I'm looking to get more of those. If you have more of those, let me know. But yeah, that's my Inquisition. Um, next, we have my Blood Angels. I just got this army very quickly there. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking. I got five jaw pods and three ball predators I'm currently working on. Or at least I got them in the box. I got to build them still. But that will finish off this army. So we have, uh, these are all converted models. I'm not going to go too close, but I'll get you a quick preview. Like, for example, this is my bike captain. My bike captain is just, it's an awesome looking model. He's chopper converted. You got a sword. Look at that. Model's beautiful. All the models in this army are somewhat converted, I'm pretty sure. I lucked out on training this. I had to trade my Iron Hand army away. Unfortunately, but yeah, well, that's what you gotta do. Like, I'm not sure what I feel about this landlord. I think it looks kind of clunky. I apologize if the guy who's watching painted this army watched it, but to each his own, I guess. But the rest of the army, I'm just amazed with. Here's a contempt of dreadnought converted with a custom staff. Look at that thing, all magnetized, running for this guy is amazing. Custom green stuff work for the emblems right there, right there. I love this. Here's his, the, just a couple quick things. I don't want to show the whole, whole army to you. Here's his Lamartis model. Vampire Couch Banner, or that might be Empire Banner. This thing is just 
The whole army has conversion, and it's just amazing to me. And down there we have bits, more Eldar bits for my buddy. And then we have my personal bit stash collection, which no one else has access to. I'll show you our bits closet, which we give free reign to. Now here's my buddy's Terran shelf. He's part of the basement collective. You haven't seen him in the video yet, or you might have, but you will. Um, it's not organized right now because he has some models with him. But anyways, here's actually my ogres I lied. Those are my ogres. Um, I don't use them too often, but they're all painted nicely. So here's Terran's knight. A fire raptor up there. He's a uh, custom painted black scheme blood angels. I'm not sure what they'd be called. Vindicators. He has tons of assault marines. He has 140 assault marines. Lots of them are not with him right now because he had a 4k point game. But anyways, that's it. Next one is 30k <laughs> salamanders, which some are missing once again, but he has drop pods and all that. There's your infernus, your custom predators. You just look at that. I love this. You got your Vulcan right here. I'm not sure if we ever see this. Let's take a quick look at him. Beautiful model. Uh, we all heal sex. There's a small demon army, which all, which is uh, all at the bottom, so not displayed. But here's one of the models, a Forge of Bloodthirster. Awesome model. Anyways, we go farther down. More uh, Salamanders, Centurions, and whatnot. And then down there is his Fantasy Demon Army, as well as 40k Demon Army. Bunch of stuff. Next we have our terrain shelf, and uh, here's our terrain shelf, uh, just storage up top, lots of terrain, more than we could use. This is our custom converted by Greenleaf Terrain, amazing stuff. Down here we have more stuff done by Greenleaf Terrain. This is our desert stuff to go with the desert board we use lots of time. And finally we have our Gale Force 9 Battlefield in a box. So those are actually all the shelves we have set up with models in the current gaming area. We also have this table we may handmade. We're going to be making a new one soon. But lots of storage underneath, stools, and all our bags are down there, and so on. Yep. And now this is our, I guess, supply shelf. All our templates we'll need. We usually have our... Oh, that's Anthony in the background. Sorry. How's it going, Anthony? Not much. He doesn't play 40K. He's a, a gamer of the computer variety. But anyways, we have measuring tapes, templates, objective markers, dice, and here is our bits closets. Anybody in our the basement collective has free access to any bits in here, all they want. As you can see, there is a lot. We also have bits boxes with just loose bits, but everything on here has lots of bits on it. People are free to take what they want. We don't care. We're never going to use it. You know, talk apocalypse templates and so on. Not in the immediate gaming area, which is over there. As you can see, that's our couch, all that. You probably don't need to see that TV. Is uh, Irvin's Tomb King Army. It's pretty dark, not sure if you can see it. But that's where it is. Lots of Tomb Kings. Moving on, we have the computer area. This is mine and my brother's computer setup. Two dual monitors, it's the way it's gotta be done. This area is a bit messy, I do apologize, but that's our computer area. And then we have the Warhammer 40k building us. All our modeling to all our uh, basing supplies, paint setup and all that, the light. I love this light. Uh, this is a glass cutting board. It works perfect as a palette because you can put paint on it, take it to the washroom, scrub it off with the wire brush, comes clean. We got my drill, all the modeling supplies, tape for packing. I do a lot of packing. Um, my work in progress. This is my tank I'm working on. I gotta like, pick up a Vallejo paint to finish that. Ball predator. And then we got my drop pods and so on that I gotta finish building. I think there's five drop pods and two ball predators down there plus this one. We used to be Magic the Gathering, so we got Garrick over here. Uh, we have a, I think that's Gideon, Jura, Sandra, and uh, Jays over here. Nice cutout. It's a gaming pad, bachelor pad, you gotta have it. Finally, last but not least, this is my bedroom, and this is where I keep all my current stuff. Now, I sell a lot of models for people. I buy and sell for a commission, so I, if I'll sell people stuff and take a 10% commission, or I buy and sell for profit. So I'll usually buy a lot if I could double sell it for double. So I have the patience, and this is where all these lots would store. So first of all, this of course is the giveaway. That's the Facebook giveaway there. That's our current giveaway. 
We then have Irvin's Tomb Kings. He had too much. He was just willing to sell. Uh, packing supplies on there. That's a, a Vampire Counts Army. I'm currently selling on commission. More packing supplies. Orcs down there. A buddy of mine, actually Ricky from the Collective, is going to be shipping out for commission. We then have Chaos here. Uh, I believe those are Chaos uh, Fantasy, old school fantasy. Let's just take a look here. Tons of stuff. Bloodthirster. Not Bloodthirster. Juggernauts and all that. Uh, more Chaos right here. War Machine, War Machine, War Machine, uh, some random 40k stuff I have to sell. Sorry about the lighting here, it's not the best, I do apologize. And up top we have Empire, and uh, Pack 1520 and whatnot. So this is where we, where I store everything for selling, so it's out of the way. And if people are interested in buying anything, I could just show them this room. We're more steady, but... I think uh, our new camera will help out with that or getting our old camera back would help more. But anyways, that's our basement very quickly. I didn't want to stick too much on an individual army, an individual piece because it was a showcase of the whole basement itself. Eventually we're going to have a showcase of each individual army and then cool models that stick out of that. But people ask to see it and that's what it is. Um, in this house currently, I would say we have at least... Close to 100,000 points of Warhammer. Maybe, maybe not that much, maybe 75,000 points and about uh, 20,000 points of fantasy. I don't know, it's a lot of Warhammer. There's at least tons of retail in here, so we don't have any insurance. So if I also ever burnt down, that'd be a problem. But anyways, that's beside the point. But there you go, a showcase of the Basement Collective. This is our bachelor pad. Uh, I'm currently a university student. My brother's a university student. Anthony's just, I guess the student of the computer. I don't know. But yeah, so we're basically bachelors living the dream. If you want to call this the dream, I wouldn't call it the dream. Eventually one day, hopefully we have, you know, more to look forward to than Warhammer. Not that there's nothing, not that there's anything wrong with Warhammer. But yeah, it's our basement, the basement collective. And the, the basement of the basement collective, I guess is what you could call it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I do apologize if it was shaky at all my brother's gonna be in the shot or at least trying it there he is anyways thank you for watching uh another basement collective video this is a showcase of sorts um we do a video going on from last monday if you want to go check that out uh we should be at about near 400 subscribers at this point give or take another 100 subscribers and you will be giving away those uh corn you saw in the in our room there and uh, of course, you saw my shelves where we're flush to give away stuff. We have tons of stuff we can give away. We're just waiting for the subscribers to do it. So go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, we do thank you for watching another Basement Collective video. If you have any more ideas for videos like this one, hit us up. I'm happy to always do them. Um, we should be getting back to more battle reports coming the next week when we have the, the other camera back and more time. But other than that, thank you for watching and keep on wargaming, guys. <laughs> you keep